As I welcome you guys today to yet another exciting video, I am very happy to present the topic of developing your own personal views and opinions of things. I felt that this topic had some sort of relevance to the majority of people, I think, that uh, that live in general. And I feel like it focuses a little more towards the younger audience because uh, those are individuals who uh, might not have had enough time to really develop uh, views and opinions of things that they're comfortable with. So what I feel like a lot of young people do, and there's nothing wrong with this, is uh, they rely on the op the opinions and the views and the outlooks of other people, like their parents, for say, or maybe close friends of theirs, or family, or coworkers, or whatever. And they rely on those things to help them develop their own personal views. Now, I wanted to say that I think that to a certain extent that this is totally natural, and it's almost necessary because there are certain things that we just aren't knowledgeable enough to uh, really develop a solid opinion on. Um, so using the opinions and, and views of people that you trust and are uh, a large part of your life is almost necessary in really developing a solid view that you agree with. But what I feel like we do is a lot of the time we kind of get carried away with relying on uh, what other people think about certain things. So you might have a certain instance where let's say you're dating a girl and this particular girl reveals to you that uh, she's been talking to her ex-boyfriend for a period of time. So at this moment where you're presented with this information from her, uh, you feel a little bit of internal judgment going on. You have half of your mind telling you, uh, and you can feel it, that you're really uncomfortable with this scenario. You're not really comfortable with her talking to her ex-boyfriend. And then you have half of your mind telling you that, you know, you shouldn't worry about it, you trust her, and, you know, this is just a phase. Don't be jealous, let it be natural, and let her do what she wants to do. So in this internal period of uh, judgment and, I, I guess, kind of disorder where you're not really quite sure how you feel about something, you decide to turn to a close friend of yours. Now, when you turn to your close friend, you tell him your situation, you give him the information, and your close friend seems to rely solely on the fact his opinion basically is uh, quite opposite of what you were feeling internally when you were disagreeing with her talking to her ex-boyfriend. Your friend says that, you know, dude, it's okay, you don't need to be controlling, you shouldn't be worrying about this, etc., 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 and basically your friend uh, agrees that you should not make a big deal about this. So now at this point in time, you're uh, at a situation, you're at a point where you have two different uh, options as to how you can handle this situation. And I feel like a lot of the time what we tend to do is side with the option of somebody else because we're looking for clarification of some kind. So there's points where we don't really know how we feel about something, but we know how we feel, but we don't feel like we're confident enough in that feeling. Um, and that leads us to talk to somebody else. And then I think that we use their confidence and their feelings to let them make almost a decision for us. So as we near the end of this commentary, I wanted to emphasize uh, how important it is for us to, at some point in our lives, develop a solid framework of how we feel about certain things. And we don't need to have a solid framework all the time. And, and no, it's not uh, necessary that you can't ask for help on things or you can't get the opinions of others. You know, that's always something that I think as social beings we need to partake in. Um, but rather, uh, at times of need where you know how you feel about a, uh, about something and, and you're just not, you're frightened to take that uh, risk of confidence in your personal feelings, um, how to really just understand that, you know, in order to in order to truly develop a feeling or an, out, an outlook or an opinion that's true to you, you're going to have to be willing to take some risks and test out those opinions and test out those feelings and, and you know, really stick to them uh, to the end and then, and then see how they turn out and decide for yourself was that uh, a decision or an opinion I was comfortable holding all the way to the end. How did the outcome look? Was I happy with things, etc. So um, just as long as you guys are clear on the understanding that building your own opinions and having the confidence to really stand by the way you feel about something I think is something that's really important in the journey to adulthood that we all have and I think that a truly solid individual is someone who can really make decisions for themselves and stand by the way they feel and you know if there's a certain way that you feel about something and you you have 
question or you're questionable as to whether it's correct or or ethical or whatnot you know it's always okay to get the opinions of others in that sense as well or just in general you know it's not always certain that we have to rely on just our own opinions but um, again I wanted to just emphasize the importance of not always relying on the opinions of other people to help you make your own decisions confidence and personal decision making is imperative in living a happy life so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I very much enjoyed making it for you and as always guys stay flying stay fresh and I will catch you guys soon peace